Corporate Contacts provides means of organizing your contacts by several criteria, groups, organizations, positions and locations. The groups in Android can be system groups, which are predefined by Google, and usually such groups are, starred in Android, co-workers, family, etc. With corporate contacts you can edit or delete the predefined groups, and, most significantly, create your own groups in which you can classify your contacts as you want. The Organizations tab displays a list of the organizations the contacts belong to, and the Positions tab, the positions your contacts have within their organization. Locations tab displays a list of cities and countries your contacts belong to. One contact can be set to belong to more than one group, to more than one organization and position, and to more than one location. Unique about the Corporate Contacts application is the concept of context. Each contact is displayed within its context. For example, when viewing the contacts that belong to a certain organization, you are presented with the position each contact has within that specific organization. Let's take a look at one company, Motorola with green letters below each contact name is the position of the contact within Motorola. John Smith can also be a member of a different organization, for example, a church board, and when you open that church board organization you will see John Smith's position within the church board, not within the company Motorola. Similarly, when the position tab is open, each contact is presented with the organization within which he or she holds the specific position. The context of the location tab is the full address of the contact, for that location. That is useful since one contact can have more addresses, home, work etc. The context within the group tab is the default company and position for the contact. In order to discover all contexts one contact belongs to, long tap a contact. In the context menu are listed, all groups the contact belongs to, all organizations, all positions and all locations. So, it is very easy to browse through the contact by group location, position, organization, as you need. Also, in order to narrow down the results and find exactly what you need, you can apply a filter. It would filter the context by one additional parameter. Another way to narrow down the results, is to search within a context. Let's see how this is useful in daily life. Say I am trying to call John Smith. I am using the fast dialer application which tightly integrates with the corporate contacts. John is a business contact of mine, and obviously he is not available at the moment. So, let's call somebody from his office. Through the context menu of the fast dialer application I can open John's company. Now I am presented all the contacts of Motorola. But, I have many of them, and I need to call not just anyone, but someone at London. I add a filter by location, and now I can see exactly the contacts I am looking for. If I needed to call not someone in London, but someone at a certain position, for example, a manager of the company, I could apply a different filter instead. Filtering by position gives me exactly the managers of Motorola. Furthermore, I can organize the contacts within groups by different criteria. For example, by project. So if I wanted to see all contacts at Motorola involved in the project Inter-Railway, I can filter by that group. And, lastly, if I knew part of the name of a contact I was looking for, I could use the context search to further narrow the results. The Corporate Contacts application also provides different actions for a selection of contacts, for example, group email or SMS sending. And while other applications already provide similar functionality, what is unique about this app, is that it enables fine-grained control over to which addresses you send messages to. For example, in the multi-SMS mode, when selecting the contacts to send a message to, we can see that for each contact only the mobile phone numbers are selected. This is obviously because an SMS cannot be received on a static phone, but also, if you have other way to organize your contacts, for example to save mobile phone numbers under a different label you can add that number too. When sending an SMS, you are presented the option to either use the default SMS sending application on your phone, or to use corporate contacts SMS sending mechanism, which provides the possibility to use special keywords which would later be replaced with a different value for each recipient. 
For example, all instances of the keyword percent name will be replaced with the name of each of the recipients. In that way, you can easily send multiple messages, while still keeping a personal touch to each of them, which would definitely be much appreciated by the recipients. In order to take full advantage of corporate contacts features, you will need to have your contacts well organized in groups, with designated organizations, positions and locations. Which is a very tedious and tiring task, especially if you have a lot of contacts in your address book. Fortunately, apart from the single edit mode, available for each contact separately, the corporate contacts application provides a mass editing a mechanism of your contacts. You can use the multi-select option from the app menu, select the contacts, and apply to all of them at once either group membership, organization and position, or a location. In that way you can prepare your address book for exploiting the full potential of the corporate contacts application.